Sorry for the late reply, but I finally learned how to find the old contact list. Most of the time, I spent in court and serving time, for 18 years. I took several years to get back on my feet, and PTSD was a term I did not know, but I understand this all the more. I kept on writing, which I started inside, for most of the ordeal was better to consume as I wrote down the experiences. Gradually several chapters became a book and now a series. Sometimes I wrote to discover what I didn't know. Yet, we are dealing with a mixed reality portal, and there are places we cannot go. Folks, are we fast approaching the tipping point? Watts offers this advice, just write a bad book, start with something subpar and learn. I grew up culturally a Christian, and I lost the prevailing views and understandings of the body of Christ the same I could no longer share. Sometimes I just wrote to discover what I didn't know. Yet, we are dealing with a mixed reality portal, and there are places we cannot go. Folks, we are fast approaching a tipping point, and I wrote about this journey. Deception Protocol, The Prodigal Son Blueprint. Did Trump kill JFK? No, but he sure killed the American dream for many. I am not bashing the most notorious person in the world, though I am sharing the virtual reality President Trump lives in, we all face. If there are dark rooms in your heart, then is it time to open the windows, for a good idea is meaningless without the courage to speak. This piece is readable and thought-provoking. Millennials want the end of politics as we know it. If we fail to stand the enticement, we accept this generation gets worse than our generation. For on that day, we give in to the seduction, and we obeyed the persuasion of the commands the devil inside of us gave. If it looks like you might have lost the battle. Sometimes it seems like you are losing the battle. You are sliding towards the end of the rope. At least put a knot in the cord, keeps on hanging on a little longer, for help is on its way. I am sitting down in my cell. I am sitting down in my cell, my quagmire above all, in spilled blood and ambitions of years past. It is now I can see more than the average man misunderstands. I reflect on the cells, the nexus of obsessions. Shades evolved that speak to the smallest of issues. Sacrifices that meet in this debacle of longing for what can and what can't, reduce to tears what cannot. In the pride of the melodramatic world, in the attraction of building blocks, in the tiniest of aspects. I glance at the benefit of existence, this alertness does not take away, it augments. It's not our legacy just to put up within this humanity. It is our legacy to get the picture, for I am an advocate of the way. Brer Caleb, PhD. Tough times never last, tough people do.